Okay, so this video we're going to look at um, answering some questions um, that relate to finding the rule from a graph and how that, that also relates to the general form of the linear equation, which is that y equals nx plus c. Okay, so I'm going to get that other one um, circled. What this question here is asking is literally to sub in these values here into this equation. All right, so let's write this in different color. I'm going to write y equals, and then I'm going to put x plus. So what goes here is m and c. So let's, I'm just going to pick a couple of examples. So in this case, m is 2, so I would put 2 there. c is 3, so I would put 3 there. Uh, yeah, 3. So my answer would be y equals 2x plus 3. All right, let's do E. Again, I'm going to write Y equals, give some space, plus, give some space. And let's pick blue there. I'm going to, my M is 2, so I'm going to pull the 2 there. That's where the M goes. Um, and the C is minus 5, so if I pick the C, I'd put minus 5 here. So remember, if I've got a plus and a minus here, that becomes a minus. So basically my answer would be y equals 2x minus 5. All right, and let's do one more. Last one we'll do is f. So again, y equals, have some space there, plus have some space. And then what I've got is my m is negative 10. So I'd put negative 10 there. My c is negative 11. So I put negative 11 there. Remember if I have that, that means that that becomes negative. So I'm going to have y equals negative 10x minus 11. Okay. So in this case, for these graphs, write the y-intercept and the find the gradient using the rise over run. Now, remember, the y-intercept is where um, x equals 0 and what is the y value. Okay. So where it's x equals 0. So basically, that part there, where the, um, the graph crosses that line. So in this case, that crosses it at 1. So in this case, y-intercept is equal to 1. Let's do the y-intercept on this example here. So it's cutting through there. And that's where it's cutting. It's cutting through at 3. So y-intercept is going to be 3. Now, what the next, the other part of the question is asking is, is looking at the rise over the run. So remember, rise is this part here. So that's going up 3. And here it's going, oops, I wouldn't pick that one actually. That's a good pickup that I just noticed then. I'd go here and that's two and I'd go across one. All right. So my rise and my gradient is equal to the rise is two over one. So the answer is two. This case here, I would look at my rise there and my run there. So the rise, the rise is 3 and the run is 3. So I'd class that as negative 3 because remember, as we go across, the y values are decreasing, it's becoming more negative. All right, so what I'm going to put is gradient equals minus 3 over 3, so it's equal to minus 1. Let's just do one more of these ones. And so when we look at this one here, our y-intercept is there. So it's cutting where it's cutting that y um, y-intercept when x equals 0. So my y-intercept is equal to 3. My gradient is equal to, let's get rid of that for the moment. I'm going to pick that one there and go 3 and 1. So you've got to sort of try to make that triangle. The, for those two lines that make that triangle and make it where it's easy for you to read off as well. So my rise, oops, I don't need to write it. My rise is three, my run is one, so the gradient's going to be three. So it can be sort of looking from, looks like it's in this quadrant here, but that's okay. You, you, you're looking at the graph and you're going around like that. All right, next one. So. Write down the gradient and the y-intercept for graphs from, of, of these rules. So I'm just going to pick a couple. I'm going to pick A, I'm going to pick C, F, and let's go with 
k. Now remember, y equals mx plus c. m is the gradient. c is the y-intercept. All right. So if I go with say a, okay, a equals oh no, it's not equals. A is y equals four x plus two. If I'm looking where the m would be, that would be that one there. So let's circle the gradient in um, the orange and the y-intercept in red. Okay. And let's do the same up here. So it's, oh, maybe not red then, maybe make it green. Okay. I'm going to put them to make sure they're the same colors here. So just to save time for me writing it, so this doesn't come too long in a video. Y equals a half X plus one. So my remember the green is this, the, um, the white intercept. So I'm going to circle the white intercept. Actually, let's circle the whole part here, just to be consistent there. And the, the gradient is going to be a half. All right, so you just write a half for the gradient. Let's go with um, y, uh, so for f, y equals minus 4x plus 4. The gradient would be minus 4 because it's in that position next to the s, x, I mean. And the green, the y-intercept would be plus 4. And we do our last one of these. I'm going to go k, um, y equals negative two thirds x minus a half. So in this case, our gradient is that, so it would be minus two thirds, and our x intercept would be y, sorry, not x intercept, y intercept would be minus a half. So you need to write those as what the gradient and y intercept are, but that's how you could work it out. Just from looking at the, the, um, the rule. Okay, this one. Find the rule for these graphs by first finding the values of um, m and c. So remember, y y equals mx plus c. Um, and I might do use what I did before. That's the gradient. And this is the y-intercept just when we write it. Okay, so what we're going to look at next is, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the y-intercept. A y-intercept would be this point here. So that's going to be negative two. So y-intercept is negative two. Okay, and the gradient is looking at there, and there, so my rise is two, so it's going up two, and it's going to cross two. So the rise over the run, so the gradient is equal to two over two. And we can say it's positive because remember, the one way to look at it is you're walking up the hill, which is that direction there. That's what we're going to say is the, um, the positive gradient, okay? So the gradient equals one. So to work, how I write the equation would be y equals x minus two, okay? This one here, again, y equals mx plus c, and I'm just gonna circle which part's gonna to relate to that, and this part goes here. All right, so this time we're gonna do the gradient first. Gradient is, that's one, two, three, four, five, and it's five across. This is also positive again. So my gradient is equal to five over five, and that's equal to one. My y-intercept is way up here. So it's cut, that's where it's cutting y-axis when x equals zero, and that's given at um, y equals five. So y-intercept is equal to five. So my answer would be y equals x plus five. So let's have a look at this one here. So again, y intercept, oops, 
let's um, go y equals mx plus c circle that's going to be my y intercept is up here that's where it's cutting and that's going to be negative one so actually so i'm going to write c equals negative one now i'm going to write m equals now let's see how far it goes so i'm starting from that point there one two three four five six so six and it's going across one two so six over two that's going to equal three and again it's positive because as we're going across the y um, from left to right the um, y values of the on the, the gradient for the uh, y values are increasing so my answer will be y equals 3x plus oops not going to be plus because it's remember minus one there 3x minus one so let's have a look at this one here so again y equals mx plus c circle circle i'm going to select that point there because that's where it crosses so c equals four my rise is there and my run is there so my rise is four my run is two now it's a negative gradient because it's going in this direction I know the errors show like that, but it's it's got that, that particular slope and that, that corresponds to a negative. And as I said before, there's, there's reasons for that. So we'll go, I won't go into that detail now to save time. So my M is going to be, I'm going to class that as negative four then. Negative four, I don't want to put it over there for now. Negative four over two, and that would give me negative two. So my answer is going to be Y equals negative two X plus four. And let's have a look at this one here. Y equals MX plus C. And so let's have a look at the, I'm doing M first here. I'm going one, two, three. And then, oops, no, that's not a good one, is it? So let's have a look at a better one. There's a couple of good ones here. I could actually go here. That would be two and then one, two, three, four. Or I could actually do the same thing here and go, there's two there and there's one, two, three, four. So it shows you can get different um, triangles in different parts, but they're still going to give you the same gradient. So it's going to be four over two. Now that's negative, remember, it's a negative slope. So it's going to be negative there. So it's going to be negative two. And then C equals, well, let's get that in here. It's this point there. So that's going to be three. So my answer is going to be Y equals minus two x plus three let's have a look at this one here so um yeah so y equals mx plus c and then let's have a look um circle that's what we're after here that's what we're after here so let's do that one these some of these examples have the spots you can pick automatically because oh sorry i keep doing that Let's go across there. So that's one, two, three. So that's three up. One, two, three. We can go either way. That's three. So my M is equal to minus three. Because remember, it's a negative slope. Divided by three equals negative one. And my C, here it is. Oh, actually, forgive me. I just made a mistake. So... The mistake I made might not be into numbers, but you've got to look at what you've got there. So my bad on that. Hopefully you picked that up because I didn't pick it up then. I got stuck using my previous examples. All right, so let's do that again. So it's going up two, four, six. So that's actually six and it's going across two, four, six. So it's six. So it's going to give you the same answer, minus six over six, but you've got to make sure you're doing it correctly because I that could have been, I could have got the wrong answer based on that all right so and then i'm looking at where it cuts the y-axis it cuts it at six so it's c equals six so my answer is going to be y equals negative one x oops how can i write that i can write that as negative x plus six so in this one we're just going to write the rule for the horizontal and vertical line so for example this one here 
this one here, this one, they're all going to be y equals because that's where it's coding that y axis. So y equals 4, y equals 1, y equals negative 3 because that's where it's hitting there. And that's that number's telling you in these graphs, that's telling you there. And this one, it's going to be x equals, in this case, negative 4, x, x equals 5, and x equals negative 2. Okay, that is it.